I get asked a lot about having an only child, the whys, the hows, the what ifs. And truth be told, I'm not sure it is all that different than any of your lives. I just have one child. When Michael was born, actually before Michael was born, when I was pregnant, I adamantly said I would never have another child. My pregnancy was really rough. I was on and off bed rest with preeclampsia, and my doctor told me a second pregnancy would be even tougher. And then Michael was a really, really easy baby. But still, the yearning for a second baby never came. But the summer before I got sick, right before his fourth birthday, my husband and I considered trying again. Not really trying, but not not trying, I guess. <laughs> but it never happened, and then I was diagnosed with lupus. And with it came a strong caution against any more children. But still I asked doctors, what if? What if I wanted more, had more, what would happen? There would be high-risk doctors and so much medicine and so much bed rest, and maybe a hospitalization. And risk, 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 they said. But we could do that. We could talk about it. But we should do it before you turn 35, they said, because then the risk becomes even more. And then we started talking about moving. And I always thought after we moved, after we moved, we would talk about it. We would sit down, and my husband would come with me to a doctor's appointment. And we would, raise, we would weigh the pros and cons, and we would figure it out. And then we moved, and Michael was struggling and acting out in preschool. He required all the love and attention I had, and I thought we were going to have private school and specialists and a diagnosis. And a baby? Are you kidding me? And I never really had the yearning for another one. And I turned 35 two weeks ago. The door is officially closed. But Michael has started asking why so-and-so has brothers and sisters and he doesn't. And I don't know how to answer him. Because you were enough doesn't seem fair. Because I couldn't have any more isn't exactly true and puts way too much pressure on a five-year-old. The truth is, in a perfect world, I think I would have had another child. But life isn't perfect, and mine is still pretty damn good. Because our family is complete is the only answer I can come up with. And it is. Our family is complete.